This is the Coliseum 5 from Red Sub, and it's the cheapest multi-scale base you can buy brand new right now. And as of today, it is $435 before taxes and shipping and everything. And that's cheap for a multi-scale base. But is it a good investment? Is it a good base to actually buy? Kind of, but not really. Hmm. So the other week I made a video comparing multi-scale bases, four of them from $500 to about $2,000. Now the $500 one was the Red Sub Coliseum 5. And a lot of people had a lot of questions about this base. And it overall is an okay base. That being said, there's a lot wrong with it. And not just things that you can replace, just the design of it and other things too. It just, there's a lot of things that just don't work. And now I know a lot of you are probably asking Red Sub. I've never heard of Red Sub before. Well, Red Sub is the house brand for gearformusic.com, much like Harley Benton's the house brand for Tomon. They design all their bases, whether they be brand new or something that's more inspired by other older models. And then they go ahead, manufacture them and sell them directly to the customer. So they are much cheaper. I can't say what the quality is on other Red Sub bases, only this one in particular. And another note before we really jump into this base, I bought this used locally off of Facebook Marketplace. I did not buy this brand new from Gear For Music. So I'm not quite sure when this particular base was made in the lineup. I'm not quite sure if they've made changes to them since then or anything like that. So this is just this one base in particular and I can't really date it or anything else. So definitely take that into mind and into account when watching this video too. So jumping right in, the base itself looks pretty awesome in my opinion. It has a really modern feel to it and a really modern look just overall. It's something where you can definitely see their influences like Dingwall coming into place, but they added their own twist on things and I really like that. That being said though, it's not a comfortable base to play because of that shape. <laughs> So you have a basswood body as well as a poplar burl top. And I really like the overall color and look of this base again. That blue burst is super cool. And this comes also in a more red burst color when you go to the six string version of this base. But I really enjoy this blue burst version. But the poplar itself just looks fake. It looks like it's just a really weird veneer. Uh, if that makes any sense, there's just something about it, especially in person when you look at it, that's very underwhelming. You have black hardware, including your knobs and your individual string saddles that replace a normal bridge. But of course, this is a multi-scale base. So individual string saddles are not something new when it comes to that. This base does have an active EQ. I'm assuming it's their own design or just a copy of something else of some sort. You have five knobs, including a volume knob that's a push-pull for active and passive. Then you have a pickup blend as well as three band EQ of bass, mid and treble. And then for your pickups, these are just no name red sub humbuckers. That's what they're labeled as on the website. I don't know. And they sound okay. Uh, they don't sound the best. I enjoy the neck sound by itself when it's in passive mode. I think it's an actual really full sounding neck pickup. But uh, when they're combined, it starts to go a little more downhill from there. And it's one of those things where I think just the design itself shows that if they had moved the neck pickup up more, I think it would have had a much better balance on the overall tone that you can achieve with this bass. That being said though, your low B does have a really nice growl to it as it should with a multi-scale bass. And that's really surprising for a bass that is this inexpensive.
And then speaking of the star of the show, you have a 24 fret roasted maple neck. Yes, this is a roasted maple neck coming standard on a $430 base. That is just awesome to me. So the overall scale length of this base is 34 and a half to 36 and a quarter. And that's not uncommon for multi-scale. Usually for multi-scale, you want that low to be to be at a solid 37 to really ring out true, in my opinion at least. But it does sound really good. And that B string has a really nice tension and feel to it. But other than that, when it comes to feel and playability, that's where this bass is really lacking. It's not a super comfortable neck to play on, in my opinion, especially when you go lower to those first, second, and third frets on that low B and then the low E too. Then when you're moving up to the upper frets on your higher strings, there is a lot of access there, but it's kind of uncomfortable and weird. Again, I'm so sorry. This is really hard to explain. It's just one of those things where if you play it and you've played multi-scale basses before, you'll understand what I'm saying when you play this bass. And then the neck itself does have a fretboard binding, which is really awesome to me. And just another nice little touch that they added to make it look and feel a bit more expensive than it actually is. Then you have the offset dot inlays as well as lumen lays on the side too. Again, another feature that you normally only see in more expensive instruments. Then moving up to your matching headstock, which again, looks really cool in my opinion. You have a graph tech nut and then you have your just basic regular tuners and these tuners are, uh, how do I politely say this? God awful garbage, that's, <laughs> that's about it. Uh, they're not good at all, but I'm sure you could replace them with Wilkinson's or Godot's or something like that. But overall the Red Sub Coliseum 5 is an okay bass. A good multi-scale starter, but at the same time, after taxes and shipping, I think you're gonna pay a little over $500 for this bass. And at that point, it's one of those things where it's like, maybe you just go ahead and buy one of the used Ibanez multi-scales, uh, that would be just a, maybe a couple hundred dollars more on the used market, and you'd be in a much better spot in my opinion, especially in terms of quality at least. I just feel the overall feel and playability of this bass could have been much more of a thought while they are designing this bass, uh, because it's just not a super comfortable bass to play at all. The sounds you can get are pretty good in my opinion, especially that neck pickup again, but I feel if they had moved that neck pickup again closer, towards the neck, then you would have had a much more full and balanced sound overall too. Now, of course, you can replace the tuners, you can replace the pickups, and you can replace the preamp like it's nobody's business. But then you're adding in hundreds of dollars onto this where I still think you have a flawed design to begin with. So it's one of those things where if you want to turn it into a mod project, that's awesome. But I feel it's just not worth it because you're at half a grand right now for this base. Then you're gonna spend another couple hundred dollars at that point, you might as well go for one of those cheaper Ibanez multi-scales or that ESP multi-scale as well. But that's just my opinion on it. But let me know what you guys thought about the Coliseum 5. And am I wrong at all for thinking that it's not the best? But I mean, I feel that there's gonna be way more multi-scale options that are much more affordable coming in the future. There's gotta be, right? I'm, I'm just assuming so. It's really cool, again, that this does exist, a $500 multi-scale base, but you know, it's just a stepping stone, I feel, for something greater down the line. But of course, thank y'all so much for watching, as always, for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, all those awesome things. I really do appreciate it, y'all. And a humongous thanks to my Patreon supporters right over here. Mwah, mwah. If you wanna be like one of these beautiful people right here and help support the channel every single month, be included in early access to videos, giveaways, and more, then head on over to my Patreon page. But y'all, thank you so much for watching again. I know I say it a lot, but hey, I mean it. I truly do appreciate it. And of course, stay safe, practice that bass, and I'll see y'all next time.